Hi everyone, it's Tarnished Treasures and welcome back to part two of my rummage sale haul. I had just shared at the end of the last video these mother of pearl buttons and I thought, you know what, before I start to clean and put things away, why don't I go through the other two bags so I can clean the buttons at the same time. So these were $2 a piece as well. So let's open them up and see what's inside. There were a lot of pearl buttons. I thought these were pretty cool. And these, which I'm thinking are probably upholstery buttons, but I liked the color and I like that they're velvet. So all of that is what I'll keep. And that was $6 worth. So I don't know, was that a good deal? I believe last year I found a silk robe set and I was really hoping to find something similar. Um, and I found this. Now, I don't know if this is silk or not. And I think it's modern. It's 100% something. Uh, it feels like silk on the outside, but the inside feels a little different. So I don't know if they just did like a texture to soften it on the outside. But I love the color of it. It's very loose and comfortable, so perfect for summer. It's a nice length. Um, it's silk or it's a silk effect. But I also thought that if um, I'm not wearing it, I'll hang it up with some of my robes and that the color would look really nice in here. But I have a feeling I'm going to be wearing it a lot. These were in the tea towel section. Uh, I'm going to use them as towels, but they're also nice fabric. If you just wanted to put some fabric in your stash, they were a dollar a piece. And I love the illustrations. And I think those will be cute for spring and summer. I paid $2 for the knife rest. And I'm going to add that to my collection in the corner cabinet. And then this bag was a dollar. And this big crystal, very heavy. Reminds me of my father. He used to have one this shape hanging in the front window. And then there's a, another one. Well, that's a cool shape. It's almost like a star in the center. So I'll clean those up so they really sparkle and then I'll put them out. I went to the sale in the morning and then in the afternoon I took my daughter and if you watched my vlog you would have seen what she picked up and I only picked up four things. One was the book on CD that I already shared and this was another piece, $4.50. It is in perfect condition, nothing is chipped and I just think it is so beautiful and practical. So you can put your dip in here and your vegetables or whatever else you'd like on the side. And the attention to detail is amazing. With a cut crystal, I love how it's sharp and chunky. And so it's got these scallops on the outside. And then look, on the edge, it's got these striations. So such attention to detail. This leaf pattern is my favorite. And then, I've never seen this, this flower with the little dots, the stamen and the pistil, kind of reminds me maybe of a lily. And then the inside, more pattern and more flower. And I cannot believe that the price was only $4.50. I think this is so beautiful. This was a fun piece for $2. It's cut glass as well. It's this, I don't know, this lighting time of day, it's not doing it justice. It's beautiful and it's got that nice polished base on the bottom. I love it when you just turn it to the side and it catches the light and you can see how smooth it is and then how sometimes there's a few little scratches because it's been used. So I guess it's a little condiment type jar. It does have a spot here that you could put a spoon. So not exactly a syrup container. But I guess you could hand it to someone and they could use the spoon to take the sugar. Well, this little top has come off and I thought, well, I could just glue this back on or leave it. Or maybe I've got a lid and I could actually turn that into a little powder jar, hold my beads. I'm always looking for things to hold my beads and buttons. And now what is probably the showstopper. This one has the necklace and I saw a picture of a cameo like this probably within the past two years and I just thought it was so beautiful. So I was excited that they had one at the sale. I didn't get it until I went back in the afternoon and my daughter was there and $75, it's not, you know, that inexpensive, but it's also not 
that crazy for a piece of jewelry. So I did Google it while I was standing there to just see what type of deal this was. And honestly, all the ones, now who knows if they were sold, but all the ones that popped up looked just like this design and they were five and $600 and a thousand dollars. So I thought, okay, there's no way I'm ever going to come across another one for $75. And it is marked on the pin part, 14 karat, um, the sterling, I don't know, maybe that's just the silver, like necklace and chain part. And she's got a liar. And then when the pictures came up and I was reading the descriptions, it said that they were diamonds. So I'm going to add that to my other one. And that was exciting, especially since I have seen a picture of this a few years ago and, and definitely thought it was beautiful. I just think it's so cool that they added a three-dimensional necklace to her in a different material. Everything's drying. And uh, can you tell what I like? Sparkly glass and crystal. <laughs> these, uh, I don't know, are these Bakelite? When I was rinsing them, see how they have blue on them? And they have a little bit of um, an odor and I think that's how you tell Bakelite or I don't know, celluloid or something. Now that they're dry, it's not coming off. It's just when I washed them. Um, but that's, you know, I think that's desirable. And this is so sparkly now. And this, look at this. I think my friend sent me this and it didn't have a jar. Perfect. So pretty. All of these ribbons were 50 cents each. There isn't a huge amount of them. I don't know, maybe about a yard or so. So enough to do a project or add a little embellishment, but they really seemed nice. They're silky, they're kind of heavy and floppy, definitely vintage, and such neat color combinations. This one feels thinner um, than the rest of them. I think grow grain is what all of these are. And then I thought these were so cute. I think they're the same design, just like reversed colors. So I thought 50 cents each was a good price. And I actually picked up a cart. It's outside for $4, which I thought might be good for organizing some of the ribbons, especially the ones on rolls that I've bought from Gabby. I found a Finchberry soap. So I went in the morning and then if you saw my vlog at the end was my daughter's haul. She went with me in the afternoon and she found a Finchberry as well. This one is lavender and chamomile. They were both $3 each, but it's an expensive soap. And I really like the way that this one smells. Something like this is perfect to put in a little gift stash. And then I picked up this frame. It was probably 50 cents or a dollar. And I think it's the same brand as the one I have um, from Art Church Rummage Sale. And I have it in my corner cabinet right now. The one I have is a little bit smaller, but it has the same colored stones and the back is the same. This one doesn't have glass, but that's fine. I could still put a picture in it. And I bet like this kind of looks like a boutique mirror. So I think a dollar was a really good price. This is the cart. It was only $4. Uh, I love the color of it. It's like a vintage 80s or 90s cart. I've actually found two others thrifting, a white one that was four shelves and I believe a mint green. This is like a kind of chrome aqua green. And I think it'll be great for some craft supplies or just to tuck in to a spot um, where I need just a little extra help storing some things. So maybe it'll go in the basement, maybe it'll stay in here. The other two I took to school and they're perfect. So that might happen as well. I feel like the other two had shelves that came off. Um, I'll have to look tomorrow when I go into work, but this one, everything's all attached, which is nice because that makes it sturdy and not wobbly. It does kind of look like somebody put something heavy on it that curved it down, but that might work to my advantage as well. We'll see. So I will be back with uh, part three because I don't want to rush everything into this video. And then that gives me time to put these things away to pull out the rest. Thanks for watching, everyone. And I hope you come back for part three. Bye.